Okay, y'all, since y'all wanted a tutorial on the uh, gold Louis Vuitton cup, um, I'm going to do another one. It won't be a gold cup, but it'll still be the same process. So just follow the same steps. So this is a sublimation cup that I messed up on. Um, all I did was take some alcohol and kind of wipe all the fingerprints and dirt and dust off of the outside. Some people sand it. I didn't sand mine, but, you know, that's totally up to you if you want to sand it or not. This is the paint I use for this project. I would recommend using a Krylon paint. It works much better and it doesn't peel off. I also uh, use this, what I made from Dollar Tree. It's just basically a noodle on a stick. Uh, I use this for spray painting my cup. And I also have this little wire basket that I use um, in order to let my cup dry from Dollar Tree as well. So now just take the cup, take the top off, and you're gonna put it on the noodle stick and you're gonna get ready to just spray paint it. I do two light coats so that you don't get any dripping. So go ahead and spray on your first coat. Like I said, keep your spray paint kind of far away from it, not too close so that you don't get any dripping. Otherwise, you will get drip marks. So now you have a nice even coat all over the tumbler, no dripping. So now you wanna let it dry. So I'm gonna stick it inside of my little wire basket and I'm gonna let it dry most likely overnight just to make sure that it's good and dry so that you know it doesn't peel off or anything like that. While it's drying, I'm gonna go to my Cricut Design Space and load my file to cut my decal. I'm using a gold foil from Michaels. You can use any color adhesive vinyl for this project. Now that it's finished cutting, now you wanna go ahead and start to weed, which is the part I hate the most. So you're gonna weed out all the excess and you're gonna leave the actual image that you're gonna put on the cup. This is how it will look once you're done weeding everything out. Now you're just gonna take some contact paper and you're gonna peel it off and this is what you're gonna to use to transfer your decal onto your cup. Now you're gonna use your fingers or you can use your little Cricut scraper tool to make sure you press down on the vinyl and make sure it adheres to the contact paper. Next step is to remove the backing from the contact paper. You wanna be very careful with this part because if you remove it too fast, you'll leave pieces of vinyl uh, stuck to the backing of the contact paper. Now you're going to apply the decal directly to the cup. Now just use your fingers to rub the decal to make sure it adheres to the tumbler. Make sure you rub it really well so that when you pull off the contact paper, it won't come off with the contact paper. Now you want to slowly pull off the contact paper. If you pull it off too fast, you will pull off the decal along with it. So just take your time and pull it off slowly. And there you go. Now you have your decal on your tumbler. The next step would be to epoxy over it. That's just optional. I like to epoxy it, but it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy mine. Here are two other mess up cups that I epoxied, and there's the one that I posted the picture of. 
I purchased my cup turner from Amazon and I got my epoxy from Michaels. You also need gloves and some popsicle sticks. Now I'm gonna take my cup and I'm gonna put it on my turner. You wanna make sure that when you put it on the turner that it's nice and level. Now you're gonna make your epoxy for parts A and B with equal parts of both. So if you pour 10 milliliters of part A, you need to do 10 milliliters of part B as well. A lot of videos I watch wanted you to measure each part in separate cups and then mix it into a separate cup together, but I don't do all that. I just mix it all in one cup and everything has come out fine. Now you're gonna mix your epoxy together with a popsicle stick. Just make sure you mix it really slow so you don't get too many bubbles and you wanna mix it until it turns clear again. You're gonna see some streaks where it's gonna turn cloudy. Just keep mixing and it will turn clear again. Now we're gonna apply the epoxy. I just use my fingertips to spread the epoxy onto the cup. But if you don't wanna get your fingers sticky or messy, then by all means put gloves on to do this part of the project. I did 20 milliliters of epoxy. I just wanna do one nice thick layer of epoxy to make sure I seal in the decal so that it doesn't come off and it lasts longer. The cup turns just keep spreading the epoxy all over the cup until you feel like it's fully covered and you can no longer feel the decal or the surface of the cup and there you go now that everything is nice and covered i'm going to let this turn probably for about six hours before i come out and check it after i let it spin i let it sit for about a day or so and let it finish drying i hope this helps you guys understand how i made this cup and good luck to you all thanks